Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is PR here and I'm coming at you with my Pro League Power Awakenings going into week 5 of the ESL Gears of War Pro League. Once again we have SB, E6, Denial, Orbit, Justice, Dream Team, Elevate, and Team Envious. Coming in at number 8, I am going to have to go again with Justice. They still have yet to get a win in the Pro League. Even though their start was rocky, switching rosters and whatnot, their team now consists of Fatal Strike, Ribs, Crush Mo, and Diligent Soldier. I still have them number 8. They haven't shown any life in the Pro League, but I still have them being bracket busters for either Dream Team, E6, and a possibility, I believe, of Elevate. As long as Elevate gets on a hot streak, they can, like, destroy somebody's season. So... Even though I have them number 8, I still have them with the ability to destroy seasons. Number 8, Team Justice. Coming in at number 7, I'm going to have to have Orbit here. I had them at number 5 last week. This week, I dropped them all the way down to number 7. I just don't see anything from them that is sparking any sort of anything really to put them higher on my rankings list i thought with the addition of wildy and the wildy prison duo they were going to be a lot better but after like i think they played dream team last week and they got completely shut down with a 3-0 so I, I gotta put them down at number seven because like i said they're really not showing any life in this season they can do the same thing justice is doing they can end seasons for dream team and e6 mainly and they already have a win over elevate but as far as, you know, making the top four, going to Burbank, I don't see it happening. So at number seven, like I said, I'm going to have to have Orbit. Coming in at number six, I got to put Elevate. We've seen a little bit of hot and cold in the beginning of the season. Right now we're going through a hot and cold again. And they're just not really consistent when it comes to these Pro League matches. I do believe they're a great LAN team. But in order to get to that LAN, you got to play through the online season. And right now, I think they're the sixth best team in the Pro League. And yes, it is online, and it doesn't show, you know, a full potential and skill of a team, but they're not meeting expectations right now. So, number six, I got Elevate. Number five is actually really, really hard for me. Five and four can go either way, so I'm going to talk about them together. Number five and four is Dream Team and E6. The reason why I have Dream Team number 5 and E6 number 4 is because in their head-to-head -head matchup, E6 3-0 Dream Team. And that's hard to look past when you're looking at the outside in. It's hard to look past a 3-0. It was pretty convincingly from what I've heard and the, you know pictures of the scores I've seen. It was pretty convincingly. But the reason why I have them so close and I'm talking about them together is because you cannot count Dream Team out. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Excels is just a force to be reckoned with in the Gears of War franchise, not just one of the games. He's a force to be reckoned with in the franchise. So with more time, it's going to come down to, one, if XLs can make this team how he wants it, and two, if these players are going to respond to XLs well. Their potential is limitless, but right now, you know, with the loss to E6, it's hard to put them higher than E6. And that's why E6 is up here, because E6 had a lot of nail-biters against other teams as well. They've lost three twos. I think they barely lost to SB. Um, I think they played Envious decent. Like, I don't remember the map count, but I know the maps were, were you know, nail biters. So, with E6 and Dream Team, I could see any of those two teams, or I can say any of those, any of these two t t teams in the top four, but I'm going to give it to E6 right now. So, E6, number four, Dream Team, number five. Just like I did with number four and five, I'm going to do these two together because I think they are so close. They are Strictly Business and Team Envious. We saw their head-to-head -head matchup, and it was a 3-2, and it was just so close. It really could have went either way. And I honestly think if Praise doesn't clutch that 1v2 he, like he does on War Machine, this does go in SB's way. And with that said, I think Envy is a little bit better than SB in that head-to-head -head matchup. So I have them number two and SB number three. But let's not sleep on SB still. They still have contention to get the number one seed going into Burbank. I do believe they're going to qualify and go to Burbank. Um, and they are the only team right now to beat Denial, actually. They beat them this past week in the Pro League. I think it was a 3-2 or 3-1. I actually think it was 3-1. Even though the maps were really close, that's still a good feat because I do believe the whole season combined, Denial went three or less maps. 
So Denial was just being really dominant again this season, just like they were last season. So for Strictly Business to be them, that shows that they have what it takes to be the best team. But I'm still going to have Envious up there because they still have a really great roster. Praised, Soto, Toy Soldier, and Franchise. I think with more time, that team's just going to get better. I mean, all the teams are going to get better. But I think they're going to continue to get better and fight for the top spot. It's another team I see going to Burbank. But for number two and number three, we got Team Envious and Strictly Business. So obviously, number one goes to Denial yet again. Like I said in the uh, when I was talking about Envious and Strictly Business, Denial is just so dominant. If you look at their map count and their win percentage, or their map win percentage, I should say, they are winning by a big margin, mostly 3-0s, 3-1s. They have, I think, the 3-2 versus Strictly Business, the, or the 2-3 to Strictly Business. Um... They're just on another level for most of the teams when it comes to game time, is what I mean. In scrims, when these teams are scrimming each other, it's, you know, neck and neck, pretty close most of the time. But, or, you know, sometimes some teams have an off night and they get blown out, but more than likely it's really close. So for Denial just to be dominating the majority of these teams when it comes to game times shows that they are without a doubt the best team in the game right now and they are going to be or trying to be a dynasty they're going for another dominant season last season they were 13 and 1 and they're on track to do that again obviously they're 6 and 1 7 and 1 something like that um they just are on another level their teamwork is on another level and they're just so consistent well, even when one person's playing bad somebody else is stepping up to pick up the slack so number 1 yet again goes denial esports Hope you guys enjoyed my par rankings this time around. Going into week number five, if you guys have any tips, improvements, anything to improve, make sure you guys post them in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow, and I appreciate anybody taking the time to watch this. I love you guys, and have a great night.